All right, can I just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share this. Speaking of celebrity oh, oh, well stories. Then, okay, what? But oh. it did make me laugh harder than anything has made me laugh in quite some time. And I think Judy Tenuta would have laughed harder right. than anybody. Okay. So, you know, I'm a, I'm celebrity, you know, I'm comedy legend wrangling for right. uh, Judy's, you know, for funeral and yeah. celebration of life and all of that. And uh, so, you know, finding out who wants to speak because not everybody, you know, wants it, It's difficult to right. speak at things like this. And so yeah. uh, Paula Poundstone just said... Um, that she, I, I'm not going to read the whole thing. She's not doesn't doesn't want to. And she said, "I'm not speaking at yours either." However, I will shout stuff from the back. <laughs> She's going to be. In the I back. literally fell on my chair laughing. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, at your she funeral? said, "No, I'm a lousy speaker. I'm, but I'm not going to do yours either." But I can I can see her heckling from the back. At least my funeral is going to be entertaining because you know I'll, I'll die in a funny way. Well, I'll be true. crushed by a whale penis right. or something. Well, it'll be like so. It'll be a chuckles the clown funeral already, and then Paula will be like in the back, just going, "Hello, hello, yeah, can you hear me?" That's what I. She expect. heckles your yeah. show through Twitter, so that's yeah, just and kind of... on the phone she prank calls right. the show. Yeah. So why wouldn't she prank my funeral? Yeah, of course she will. Thank you, Paula. It's lovely of you. She's a helper. She is. She's a liberal helper. And it's also nice to plan in advance that she will not be speaking, just heckling. I've made a list. All right. <laughs> Malcolm Nance, uh, Coffee with Carlos Sells Rocky, Bob Seska. It is, uh, oh, who's, uh, yes, Liz says this is a uh, Hottie McHotness Day. It has been so named. This okay. is Hottie McHotness Day on the Stephanie Miller Show. Thank okay. you, Liz. You are correct. And fun fact, you know what I learned hmm. this morning? Hmm. Malcolm Nance and Dr. Redliner had dinner together last night. Oh, my God. Okay. Dr. I, I saw him on Nicole Wallace, Dr. Redliner. Just, I, heroes. Everyone connected to the Stephanie Miller well, we got the alert. Hero. We got the alert that Dr. Redliner was going to be on Nicole Wallace. Indeed. <laughs> Meaning Ron. the guy that owns the show. Okay. I think it was Dr. after Redliner's it aired, though. going to be on oh, TV. Was it after it, it aired? It was after it aired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I watch Nicole Wallace every day, so I knew that that happened. Yes. Yes. But. All right. Uh, okay. I, you know... So many gifts, Travis, that I don't know where to begin today. Oh, by the way, get your booster. Uh, by the way, as I mentioned, America's Sweetheart. <sighs> Debbie Boone just getting over. And this is the new uh, headline. I haven't even gotten to this yet, but I'm seeing it anecdotally all over Twitter. This deadly COVID twist is like nothing we've seen before. China is locking back down again. Oh, dear God. Okay. Um, so which, which of the what the hell, Herschel, do you recommend? Because it's... It's I, well, you, let's okay. Go, let's go with one that's Just short the, and sweet. Well, as you say, Travis, and it's you know not it's you, so it's not kind. But you were the one that said how much every Herschel Walker appearance looks like a St. Jude's commercial. Well, well, when Christy Nome was Christy there, Nome, yeah, because she does look like Marlo Thomas. Uh, so yesterday it was uh, Rick, Rick Scott, Scott and Tom Cotton. Yeah, and they were standing and the behind looks, him. Right, they were standing behind him, and the look on their face when he was—is this another? version of the bull story with the uh, onion belts or uh, which one is this? There, there, there's a he made there's a, a twist he made a change to the bull story this time that yeah. i found very well you okay let's see if you can pick it out all right okay this is, and uh, then, uh, this is the, uh, and then there's a story about a bear okay so let's start with the this would be uh 20 20 yeah okay as they've been saying something is better somewhere else and i'm here to tell you it's not so i've been telling this little story about this bull out in the field with six cows, and three of them are pregnant. So you know he got something going on. But all he cared about is kept his nose against the fence, looking at three other cows that had been blown to him. Now all he had to do is eat grass, but no, 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 he thought something was better somewhere else. So he decided, I want to get over there. So one day he measured that fence up. And he said, I think I can jump this. So that day came where he got back. And he got back, and as he took off running, he dove over that fence, and his belly got cut up onto the bottom. But as he made it over on the other side, he shook it off and got so excited about it. And he ran to the top of that hill, but when he got up there, he realized they were bulls too. <laughs> so what I'm telling you, don't think something is better somewhere else. Oh, my God. God. Did uh, you notice the difference? No. No. I don't pay that much, that close attention to no. Herschel Walker. And also, <laughs> what? 
This time the cows were pregnant. They weren't pregnant last time. Oh, and so I they had a choice. And I want to know saying. if they had this a choice. This time there was or, a choice. Or did I he see. pay for an abortion? Oh. Did the bull pay for an abortion for any of those three cows oh, that I he see. knocked up? Well, if he did, he's been pre-forgiven. Like somebody redeemed something. Okay. <clears throat> I see. And then he okay. said, and then he said, well, it's, that takes some bull balls. It really does uh-huh. to tell a story after you've impregnated almost every woman in Georgia to tell a story about how pregnant cows, but okay. All right. So, uh, now a story about a bear. Yeah. And then, and then this one, I don't know what's going on here. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's mm-hmm. short. Oh, as if you did in the last one. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I don't think they know that they woke up a bear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not just a dog now. I'm a bear. Huh? Okay. He's well, a bear dog. Okay. He, what's with that audience? Wow, that is like the easiest audience in the world. What? And, I, I don't. And meanwhile, Rick Scott and Tom Cotton are standing behind him like they're the doctors at St. Jude's. Yes. Who are really proud about how he's doing yeah. in the real world. Well, Rick Scott always has that like skeletor stare, mm-hmm. but he was particularly just like, hmm. Hmm, this is our candidate. And then like Tom Cotton's, um, you know, Adam's apple. Yeah. yeah, that little bobble throated, yeah. uh, you know, slap thing, as Charlie Pierce calls it. It was yeah. kind of, right? Yeah. That like, like a, <clears throat> what's the thing at the fair where, it, you know, if you hit the uh, thing with a mallet, it's just like it kept going up and down. Like, like I think he was oh, nervous. Oh, like a strong man? Yeah. yeah. Fester? Yeah, he was nervous. He was nervous because maybe Herschel Walker is perhaps not the best uh, public speaker. Candidate? Yes. Anything? I, carbon, I was... Carbon based life form? Man. Father, man, father, husband, <laughs> candidate. Oh. Yes. I was just going to allege that Tom Cotton's not comfortable around back, black people. You think so? I mean, could be. Yeah. He doesn't. That's cotton, probably he, the long He distance. doesn't cotton to black people. No. <laughs> what? What? Oh, see, just the word "cotton" in there is already sounds like you were saying something, and I forgot. That, his just last his name. name. I get it. Yeah, oh my but it God. sounded racist, and I just, you know what? I, I just, I feel like this segment is already very inappropriate. Okay, let's. <laughs> Chris. Oh, dear. Who said of uh, Fox News' decision to try to shame Joe Biden's loving phone call to his son, Hunter? Addiction is a disease, not a character flaw. Cruelty is a character flaw. Who said that? Uh, Bigly Bigly. No. Uh, Paul Begala. Oh. I think that's his my favorite thing he said ever since he said to us that Ari Fleischer needs to find a salad bar. Remember that? Yes. Back in... Back 2000 in, something whatever <laughs> okay back when you were 25 right uh-huh. yes okay. yes when i was a child star yeah. starting out uh-huh. okay all right well uh where do we start yeah this has been a year can i just say um tess said my favorite fact about angela lansbury is that her murder she, during her murder she wrote era she made it a practice to hire guest actors uh of the golden age that had aged out of the game because it allowed them to earn the union points they needed for insurance pensions etc Okay. Is everybody good left us at this point? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so that was a... Hmm. What are you, you're staring at me. You brought the room down. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we were laughing about Herschel Walker yeah. and bulls right. and bears right. and dogs, and now you have to bring in death. Right. It's I like, wow. Sorry. And despair. I oh, my God. Apologize. Uh, Steve sums it up for us. The Fox News definition of a good father, Herschel Walker, abandons his kids, pays for an abortion, beats his wife. The Fox News definition of a, a bad father, Joe Biden, pleads with his son to get help, pays for his son's treatment, tells his son he loves him. Yes. That's pretty much the upside down yeah. we find ourselves in. And Liam just said, I don't think uh, Joe Biden's political career will ever recover from everyone finding out that he loves his son. Yeah, that's that's got to be. Yeah.